Huh? What's up? I'll beat you up! <laughs> I am concerned. Jeez. Huh? All right. My. I'm no doll. I'm Mini Maru. Serious? Thanks. Well... I'll beat you up! Whoa! Man... Hmm... Engine's revving! Huh. <laughs> um... <laughs> Miss Sonia? Oh my! Are you kidding me? Jeez! <laughs> I am Minimaru! Man... That's right! You serious? Of course! <laughs> well, hey, hey, but still. Now then. Hey, bastard!
Understand. So this is the last island. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island.
I've been found. You can do it.
concerned. Please wait. Um. wrong with you <laughs> what's going on
<laughs> hey. Right. Huh. Later. Now then. Hmm. However. Well. Huh? Well, yeah. Hey. wrong. Jeez. 
<laughs> that is... Now then. Well... <sighs> you... <laughs> huh? How about it? What? <laughs> you... Not making sense! Jeez. Right? Bye now. Hey, hey. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Please wait.
Hello there. That's not it. Well... All right, I got him. Um, what are you doing? Don't judge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> tie me up. There's no use struggling. But I'm not struggling. Huh? What? What the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. 
You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin. The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now! And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island! Wh what do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. Well, what the hell are you saying? If you do that, of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito, please stop! Uh, are you crazy or something? No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... What? Emergency!
Right. as I thought. Well. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Like...
damn right. Um... Give you.
Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the... No. Time's over. Now! Where'd you hide the bombs? That hurts, but I'll never tell. If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Huh? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there. Or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. If you're not willing to fill me with despair, there's no way my hope will ever burn. Well, That's fine with me!
Calm down, okay? You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the- Right? See, it's all right. Yep, no problem. That's weird. Hey, hey! Thanks. Huh? Well... Then... Huh? You... you're right. <laughs> Anyway...
damn it. Hmm. there. Perhaps you pissed me off. Hey, bastard.
tell me. Hey, hey!
<laughs> Damn it! Um... Don't tell me! You pissed me off. Now then. Huh? Yo! Leave it to me! Huh? Hey, hey! You! Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. It's on fire! Whoa! What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Get 
like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on.
gonna be fine.
damn it! Huh?
Just kidding. Bring it on. Well? Which means... The 
bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it! All to hell! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Mommy as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means...
What are you gonna do?
saying.
in here, but unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! Anyway, that's right. No, no. I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out. That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. <laughs> I'll... 
Yep. Um...
Now then, let's begin with during the class trial. If you vote correct, I'll punish every... Oh my, Monami? My cute little sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Time for me to horse around with Monami. The class trial has started, after all. The victim this time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. No, that's wrong. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. Ah, I just realized it. It's a trap. Trap? Stupid, Hajime. You got caught in that trap. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. I can't back down. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information. Then, after they killed him... Damn it! Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, but that was the trap! He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated! I can't back down! But if you tape his mouth shut... How is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about then after they killed him. Allow me to cut through those words. No, there's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? Might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? I 
The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? We can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Alrighty then, let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. You're damn right it is! was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused... I agree with that. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure! A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan! No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right?
I see! You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least... You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? But the blocked doorway... There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. I see! If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it... Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. B based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. You don't mean... Um, Hajime? What do you mean? This is my answer! What if... it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know! He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? D don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? 